the Basler BT67 started life as a DC3. And we take it to a whole different level. We do about 45,000 man hours of conversion work and it brings it back to a zero accumulated fatigue airplane with several modifications and it may resemble a DC-3, but underneath it really is a whole different airplane. We build it uh, mostly specific for the customer, but every base airplane that rolls out of here rolls out of here as a brand new airplane. The engines that we use is the Pratt Whitney PT-6 67R, and they're a brand new engine. And they develop 1,425 horsepower compared to the old original radial engines that developed 1,250 horsepower when they were brand new. My name is Claire Patterson. And I have been chief pilot for many years. I'm now director of operations at Basler. I've been with Basler 16 years and uh, very pleased to be here. I'm, I'd be glad to get old right here, uh, both the company and the product. I'm big fans of both. Every part that needs to be new is new. The parts that don't need to be new are experienced. <laughs> so every wire, every O-ring, every window is fresh. The engines, uh, PT-6 engines, are certainly worldwide, the, everyone agrees they're the most dependable engine available. There's a lot of advantages to a tailwheel. For one, taxiing or low speed operations, the propeller is very high off the ground. So the propellers do not get damaged by rocks and such. On landing, the pilot has full control of the angle of attack of the wing. So you can land at a high speed and choose whether or not to finish the landing. A good example in extreme crosswinds or slippery runways, uh, you may want to put a lot of weight on the tire for traction and you can control the traction and a nose wheel will get in the way of the angles you need. So I'd rather be in charge of the airplane than have a nose wheel tell me what to do. Uh, an experienced airplane is preferable in some new modern roles, quite frankly. And we support the airplane so well, that's another thing I, I would like to mention. We have spare parts and brand new parts that we make. It's, we're very good at support. We don't have a customer out that just bought one airplane. They start out with one and some now have 13 and 14 airplanes to their fleet. They're a workhorse, they fly 20 to 24 hours a day seven days a week, uh, 365 days a year. Because it's such a great platform for any mission uh, that the customer wants to use it for. And we have customers that operate in the, uh, the Sahara Desert. And we have customers that operate all the way down in the uh, Arctic and Antarctic. So it can have several different uses. It goes out of here as survey airplanes, troop and cargo, firefighting, gunships. We sell them to our U.S. State Department to use in Afghanistan to haul uh, people in freight. We had a uh, customer that had an accident in Antarctica. We took a whole tail section from another airplane. We took both complete firewall forwards off another airplane and several other landing gear parts and shipped them to Antarctica to put on the airplane to fly at home. And we've also hand carried parts uh, to Antarctica. If they ever need to have a problem for the part, we will hand carry it right to the ice and hand deliver it. Most of our customers come in and uh, see the factory. And once they've been to the factory and seen the process and seen the airplane, they're hooked, they're sold. Most of our customers, I should say, you know, advertise their airplanes over five years or less. My name is Ashley Hazy and I am an AMT mechanic here at Basler Turbo. I am licensed to basically work on any type of aircraft and I can do anything from sheet metal to engine work. We have such a great team here. Everyone comes in with a great attitude, smiles on their faces and we just push through the day and it, we really have a great team here and that's what allows us to get these products out for the customers at tip top shape and yeah, we, we really have a great time here at Basler. It's a great place to work. My name is Dwight Dietz, and I am the production supervisor. That uh, design was uh, quite common in the era that this aircraft was originally produced, but it does allow that aircraft with its large main gear and the tail wheel to land on unimproved airstrips. Uh, it provides a great flotation. The aircraft can be equipped with skis for landing uh, in the snow and uh, it just allows with the tail wheel which is 360 degree full castering allows that aircraft to land on unimproved short strips to spin itself around and allow for it to take off 
uh, without a great deal of support equipment in, in locations. With it being that large and with the, the speed of which this aircraft cruises, it allows it to be well suited for uh, scientific research and uh, geological surveying. They tow uh, EM birds for survey. And so what they'll have is a big EM loop antenna that goes all the way around the airplane, powered by a 40 kVA generator. And what they'll do is they'll shoot a signal into the earth, and that signal will come back, be picked up by the birds, come into the airplane. And they have several monitors and computers that take that data and can tell you whether there's oil, diamonds, copper, or any precious minerals in the soil so they can come back and mine that at a later date. The aircraft has such a large payload capability. It, again, its uh, rate of uh, speed when flying and uh, its capability to land on unimproved air, air strips. Uh, it is just a very unique aircraft that uh, has not been able to be duplicated. It was never a pressurized airframe, so you don't have that cycling on your airframe that you would in a pressurized aircraft and it just uh, lends itself well to the longevity that we've seen it uh, to this day and upon our completion of basically a new aircraft as we could complete it, uh, it allows for it to continue for a great number of years again. You know, the business started in 1957 with uh, Pat and Warren Basler and then in the uh, mid 80s we started building the turbine DC-3 because we were an operator of DC-3 aircraft and we wanted to take it to the next level. So we've been around here doing this type of work since 1989. We have a lot of really good people, a lot of really good craftsmen. And a lot of our people have been here for 20 years or more. So they've got a really good working knowledge of the DC-3. My name is Mark Miller. I'm the Fabrication Supervisor at Basler Turbo Conversions. I'm in charge of basically doing uh, all the things that are necessary to fabricate the, the new parts that you see here. This isn't an ordinary part. This is an aircraft part. It was made many, many, many years ago. And we have to duplicate it. And sometimes we don't have the, the blueprints to do that. We may find a, a blueprint from Douglas, but it may not give us all the information we need. So in many cases, we have to take and duplicate an original part. So we have to take the part and be able to, uh, in the case of these formers that you see in the background here, we actually have to make a, a piece of tooling so that we can duplicate that. So we have to be able to make that tooling the exact same size as the original part. We have to make it out of the same material and then we have to figure out how we're going to get it bent, how we're going to get uh, inspected, how we're going to get it primed, and how we're going to get it to conform uh, so that we can sell it and put it on our aircraft. The future is really our customers because we, again, every customer is different and so they come to us with what they need in an airplane, what their mission is, and then we outfit the airplane and set the airplane for their mission.